What's up guys? Tony, again, WonderMeals.com, cooking with college dudes, and we're making ranch chicken dippers. We got David with us. Yeah. And let's do this. Let's make some dippers, man. Alright, uh, we got our ingredients here for our uh, chicken tenders. Um, we start off with a little uh, Crisco oil, a little vegetable oil in our uh, fry daddy right here, so we can uh, fry up our ten chicken tenders later. Um, for our batter, we have... Uh, some flour, some gold metal flour here. We got some Highland milk. Uh, we got we got some best choice eggs right here. Two or three eggs, depending on how much chicken you make. Small amount, two eggs. Make more. Throw in another egg. Um, we got some salt and pepper to throw in there. We got some garlic powder, and uh, we got some seasoned salt to toss in. And that's that's mainly all just for our batter right there. Um, for our dipping sauce later, we're going to have uh, buttermilk ranch mixed with uh, some uh, red hot uh, cayenne pepper sauce, kind of like wing sauce. You know, I put it on your uh, kind of put it on your wings there. Uh, we have our we have one pan here for uh, some. <laughs> you, you have your pan for your flour that we use. Normally, you'd have like another bowl. We didn't have another clean one, so we had to use one of our pans. This is going to be used with the um, eggs and milk that the chicken's going to sit in. We've already sliced, so we'll take you to the next step. All right, step one, what you're going to do, um, we took, you know, about four chicken breasts, so that calls for two eggs that we're going to put in this bowl. So you crack your eggs. Just them in there like so. And then one egg. Two egg. Now also, what goes with these eggs is milk. Um, you would uh, normally, we don't have a measuring cup. So, you take like three-fourths a cup of milk. So, I'm just going to eyeball it. Mm -hmm. I think, that's probably good right there. And so, we got a fork here to whisk this stuff up. Just do this because you're going to place these strips in here. And so, and after they've, once you put your strips in here, you're going to let them sit for about five minutes before you put them in the flour, which uh, David is going to show you how to do. So you're going to do this for a little while. Now you want to get them, make sure they all get coated pretty well. So they're just going to be sitting in there. And that is step one. All right, step two, we're going to make the batter. So, uh, first of all, we, uh, we're going to add some flour. Put about half the bag in there. So. So this will give it a nice fried, crisp taste. Uh, we're going to add some garlic powder. Just a little bit of garlic powder, really. Just kind of right across there, a little bit of that. Um, you're going to want to add more more pepper than maybe garlic powder, you know, give, give it a nice, a nice good seasoning all around. And uh, some regular salt. I mean, too much of that. You're also going to add uh, some, garlic, some garlic salt, or I mean some seasoned salt, excuse me. We're going to want to put a lot of seasoned salt in there to get get it the good flavor. And then uh, just kind of mix it all around. Now obviously when you're dealing with any type of raw foods or you're mixing anything with your hands, David and I obviously washed our hands, so make sure you wash your damn hands. So now step three, we're going to take um, the chicken that's been sitting in the eggs and the milk that they've been sitting in there for about five minutes, you can take them and put them in the batter, and you can, you know, roll them around in there. Make sure you get all that chipotle—I mean, not chipotle—the cayenne seasoning and everything that we put into there. So I'm going to put them on this plate for David to put into the fry daddy. All right, step four. We're, we're going to want to go ahead and fry them. Um, if you don't have a fryer, you know, you, you can always heat up a pan on the stove and kind of just toss them in the pan and let them cook. And that always works. But, but we have a fryer right now, so we're going we're gonna to go ahead and fry them up. 
Um, we're going to take a strip off, and we're going to kind of shake it off a little bit. You don't, you don't want like too much excess. You don't want to wipe anything off or anything, but you don't want too much excess flour um, on your chicken. So then we go ahead and kind of just set it in the in the fryer. Don't drop it in. You, you'll splash yourself. The fryer's really hot. So we'll shake it off a little bit. Set, set those in there. And then uh, you let those brown up. And uh, and when they start floating and when they get kind of golden crisp brown, and then they'll be done. Yeah. Sounds good, man. All right, well, like... Well, step five, you're gonna um, you're gonna wait about two. <laughs> you're gonna wait about two or three minutes, maybe four minutes, until they're nice, golden, crisp brown. And then you're gonna go ahead and try to get them. <laughs> try to get them out. Burn your ass. Yeah, be careful. You can burn yourself. Hot as shit. Now get them out. Nice golden brown right there. Go ahead and lay them on like a paper towel or something so they can kind of dry out from all that oil and grease and everything. And there you go. You finally end up with uh, your fried chicken strips, golden brown, beautiful. Um, you know, we got our chicken frying right now, and uh, we're going to make our one of our meals uh, spicy ranch dip. So you just take your, uh, your ranch, just put about, I don't know. Just about that much, that looks pretty good. And then you got your hot sauce, kind of dip it in there. Depending on how spicy you like it, you know, about how much you want to add. If, if you like it real spicy, load it up. If not, just kind of lightly dip it in there. Whatever you think, Captain. I think, uh, I think, uh, I think that's good right there. Then you just kind of, kind of mix it up. Simple as that. There we go. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't think you got spicy enough. Uh, maybe a little more. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right. So this is our uh, final platter for our chicken dippers. Um, <laughs> these are uh, these are awesome by themselves. You know, just to dip them and have them. But they're also good, you can have them for a meal, fry them up, fry some fries with them, and uh, you can have them for a good meal. Yeah, so, let's go ahead and uh, swimmermeals.com for you, Tony and David. Cheers to that. College dudes, and we got ranch chilling. God, Jesus Christ! It's off, it's off, shut up. Hey, WonderMeals.com, my name's Tony, and we got David McKay. I said his full name. I don't know, that sounds good. There's it's a gay list of 47 <laughs> of apartment 4C. Chicken dippers, and you know these are always good for an appetizer or maybe even a meal. Maybe fry up some fries with it, and uh, you know, so an appetizer or or a uh, a meal. <laughs> Let's do that one again. <laughs> All right, so this is our final platter of uh, ranch chicken dippers. Um, these are always good for a meal, or you know, if you want to serve them as an appetizer. So if you want to have a meal with them. <laughs> Alright, one more time. I'll get it. I'll get it this time. <laughs> Alright. Alright. You want a meal or app or a meal or an app <laughs> or a meal? <laughs> Alright, so this is our uh, our final chicken dipper platter right here. So I mean you can have this for an appetizer all by yourself or you know you can cook it up for a dinner, maybe cook some fries, maybe <laughs> try it. <laughs> 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 Shut, up. Shut up! That's what's gonna make it good. No, it was you that time. I yeah, saw you yeah it was me. You guys. <laughs> <laughs>